Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of vlog, another multi-day edition of vlog, this time taking you guys with us to the CrossFit Regionals in Wollongong, New South Wales, about an hour's drive out of out of Sydney, the capital of New South Wales, for viewers at home that aren't aware. So I'm just about to make my way to the airport. Fortunately, didn't get myself a stupid uh, uh, early morning red-eye flight on this trip, so it's, uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Bags are all packed up, ready to go. Suitcase ready to go, laptop ready to go, of course. Just about to smash myself down some breakfast, but I thought the first thing I'll show you guys is, is this, because I got a bunch of questions on the last video about how I travel with, uh, with so many meals. So this particular trip is another four day trip. So it's Thursday morning at the moment. We're uh, leaving this morning. We'll be in Wollongong Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then come back Monday afternoon. So it's almost a five day trip. Obviously when you rock an ISO bag, you can fit like a maximum, you know, six to eight meals up in this bitch. So I thought I'd show you guys this, this is pretty cool. So Nutri Go, obviously, the fellas hooking me up with my meals for this trip, man. Hooking me up with all my meals. Zuma focus, bitch. There we go. Check it out, Nutri Go. But what? So what I do for for trips that are that are longer, where I need more meals, is I actually take the meals out of the Ziploc, uh, out of the, the 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 Tupperware containers, and Ziploc them bitches up, man. So check that out. Save myself a bunch of space. So I've got obviously a bunch of meals in there. Ice packs down the bottom, not traveling internationally, so we don't do, they need to do the Team Massive Joe's frozen pea uh, trick on this trip. Uh, can just roll with normal ice packs. But I've got in there, so usually it fits six to eight meals in the ice pack bag. I've got in there uh, 14 meals, zip locked down. So that's gonna get me uh, pretty much all the, all the meals throughout the day that I need. And then obviously breakfast, I've got my, uh, my protein powder sludge that you guys will see, and most of the dinners will be out with, uh, with wholesale business over in Wollongong. So I'm going to pack this up, I'm going to grab myself some breakfast and we'll touch base with you guys at Adelaide Airport just about, uh, just as we're about to leave. What's up guys, just at Adelaide Airport, running a little bit late this morning as we're in a bit of a rush. On this trip, of course, with Massive Joe's wholesale account manager, Joel Bay, aka Swole Bay. And of course, Leah up in the house as well, man. We will touch base back with you guys. That's them calling us. We'll touch base back with you guys when we land in Sydney. What's up guys, so landed in Sydney, hopped in the uh, the rental car, swole bait, at the wheel. Leah in the background with the navigation going on. Got the mobile office happening of course, man, that's what happened. We, you know when you see swole driving, Joe's got the uh, the mobile office on deck. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth? That's it, that's it, man. Anyway, that's so it. it's, uh, it's just afternoon, we're on our way to Wollongong, and we'll check back in with you guys when we get to the, uh, the Wynn Entertainment Center and start setting up for the CrossFit Regionals. What's up guys? Just rolled up in Wollongong, man, here for the CrossFit Regionals, of course. And this is pretty cool, but a lot of people don't, I guess, don't really appreciate how big CrossFit is. So this, uh, this regional competition is like the, I guess, the national championships for Australia and New Zealand and a bunch of the Pacific Islands. Um, it's, it's actually called the Asia Pacific region, Regional. So a bunch of Pacific Islands and, and some Asian countries as well. And check this out, man. This is where it's being held. It's called the Wynn Entertainment Center. It's a huge stadium, indoor, back behind my shoulder there. It's got an outdoor area as well. It's, uh, it's massive. So we're gonna pop on in, get to the loading dock, uh, start uh, setting up our booth, and we'll touch base with you guys uh, probably when we start setting up. What's up guys, so here at the Wynn Entertainment Centre, man, in the Exhibitors Pavilion up here. So check it out behind me, you can see. I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys, so. Pretty bare looking at the moment. The visitor's starting to set up on the, uh, the Thursday afternoon. You can see Swallow Lear over there. We've got our first cut load of bits and pieces. Uh, we're about to start setting up in our space over there. And just behind me over here, got the outdoor area. Um, they're not using that outdoor area for, for the games this year, um, but they have in the past. So you can tell the, the size of the place is, is enormous. So the stadium is actually in behind the exhibitors area, um, tiered stadium, arena type seating. So it's pretty cool. We'll shoot in there and, and show you guys that at some point during this video as well. But for now, man, we've got a, uh, a booth to set up. So we'll check in with you guys once the, uh, once the booth is ready to go. Okay guys, so we're uh, pretty much done setting up. 
<laughs> Massive Joe's booth pretty much ready to go, man. We had a uh, one of our packages didn't turn up today, so it's coming tomorrow uh, with our other counter and uh, and our, some lighting and, and some other bits and pieces. But that's pretty much it. So that took us uh, less than two hours to set up, which is a, a slight improvement on the uh, on the Arnold Classic 14, hour, 14 hour setup. So uh, we're going to uh, hop back in the car, take our, uh, our goods back down to the car, go check into the hotel, pick up some bits and pieces that we need, and we will check in with you guys uh, probably later on tonight. What's up, guys? So I just wanted to show you this as we're leaving the Wynn Entertainment Center. We've just set up the booth. Just so you can kind of appreciate, I guess, the, the logistics behind setting up this, this event. So this is inside the arena. Leah, what's up? Hey. This is inside the arena uh, where they're holding the, the CrossFit Regional. So you can see it's a, it's a full arena, arena uh, seated stadium as we go around there. And all of this stuff obviously has to be brought in for this particular event. So let's go down the stairs, we'll show you into the, uh, into the loading dock where we're going to take some stuff back to the hotel. But this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this, so I thought you guys would be pretty impressed by this as well. So obviously this is where the, all the events are held um, inside the stadium down there. They're uh, hoping to, to pack this entire place out. Check this out. All the barbells and whatnot ready to go, already set up with the different weights in there. Just an incredible amount of, uh, of weight and, and barbells that have to be transported to this uh, the stadium specifically for this event and then just back here all brand new as well yeah. and that the truth all brand spanking think about the uh the expense involved and then this is the loading dock back here so check this out so you can kind of see just the amount of stuff that's back here shipping containers 40 foot containers 20 foot containers full of uh full of weights and stuff and obviously pretty much everything set up by this point um coming into coming into late Thursday afternoon, late Thursday night. But you can imagine that before setting up started earlier this week, just back here in the loading dock, we'll be completely packed with shipping containers. You can see kind of the remnants of some of the stuff the equipment came in on. So just so you guys can get a bit of an appreciation of the, the logistics behind holding a, uh, a national or even an international event uh, of, this, of this scale. So we're gonna uh, grab our bits and pieces, head to the hotel, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. What's up guys, so back on the road again, we just went and checked in at the hotel and fortunately enough, the packages that we were missing from uh, from the Wynn Entertainment Center that was supposed to show up, they actually showed up at the hotel. So, Swole, mobile office is happening. Hustling. Swole's not driving. I got the mobile office happening as well. I'm not driving. Who's driving? Nobody's driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> we're all a little bit nervous but anyway so on our way uh we're going to shoot past uh office works we're going to shoot past bunnings or minor 10 or one of them hardware one of places hardware pick up a few bits and pieces to finish off the booth we're going to head back to the win entertainment center and we'll check in with you guys uh when the booth is all nice and done all right guys so just got back to win entertainment center man finished setting up the uh the messenger's booth check it out it's all done man counters are all done Taps are all ready to go, Mino Tower's good to go, MTS Way, Core Nutritionals, Noji Bars, man, all good to go. So that's pretty much it for the setup. So that's uh, that's our work here done for the Thursday night. So it's uh, it's just after 6 p.m. now. So we're gonna go get ourselves an early workout in, gonna hit a, uh, a meal, get back to the hotel room, and then start to start preparing all the samples and that sort of, sort of stuff for, for bright and early tomorrow morning, day one of the CrossFit Regionals. And we'll touch base with you guys probably at the gym before we start getting our swole on. What's up guys? So just got done training at Anytime Fitness, man. We train at Anytime Fitness Ferry Meadows, just about to smash ourselves some post-workout gains at our favorite restaurant in Wollongong, that there Outback Steakhouse, of course, man. You guys hungry or what? Oh. Gonna get I our swole on? Steak in here. After we could just got our swole on? Yeah. Turning the biceps. Yeah. So we might catch you guys at dinner if uh, dinner's worth showing you. If not, we'll uh, catch touch base with you back when we uh, head back to the hotel tonight. What's up, guys? So back at the hotel now. Finished the dinner. Been back at the hotel for a little bit. So it's just uh, it's just about to go 11 p.m. So 11 in the p.m. and we uh, just getting some bits and pieces ready for the expo. We got Leah cutting up noji bars. Myself cutting up noji bars as well. So check that out. Got all of the samples of the noji bars. Going, uh, getting cut up there, ready for the uh, 
Ready for the CrossFit Regional. Swole's getting some work done. Swole. Get through them emails, man. Would you go so far as to say you're hustling, brother? I'm trying to hustle. I'm almost <laughs> at the hustle level. Almost at the hustle almost. level. So we've got a bunch more of these uh, these Noji Bar samples to cut up. Um, i got a little bit of work I need to do as well. Some more emails to get through, some some emails to get back to. Leigh, how's your workload going? Hmm? You're just cutting up Noji Bars and what else? Yeah. Yeah, just doing... Oh, and organizing the music. And organizing the music, of course. Massive Joe's booth goes off with the beats, man. Everyone knows that. So we're uh, making sure that that's all, all the... Uh, Go on a plan as usual, so we will uh, continue here and we'll check back with you guys just before we hit the sack tonight. What's up, guys? So we're just about done here, man. It's just gone. Uh, it's gone after midnight, so just after 12 in the a.m. All the Noji Bar samples have been cut off, sitting on the table there. I had myself a shower. That's why the hairs all over the place. You're a f I'll be given. Swole. Still hustling, bro. I think I've actually got to the hustle level, mate. I think you're definitely hustling. I'm hustling. <laughs> Time to get myself a hustler t-shirt, man. My computer's just gone dead on me, so I'm all out of hustle for tonight. But uh, but that's pretty much it for us for, for day one of this vlog. Everything is set up, good to go. We'll be up uh, bright and early tomorrow morning. Uh, we've got to get to the uh, to the Wynn Entertainment Center for the start of the CrossFit Regionals. They open at 8, so we're probably going to be there around 7. We've got a couple of things we need to finish setting up beforehand. Get the aminos in the towers, get the samples ready to go, get the uh, the sign-up computer ready to go, get all of that kind of stuff happening, and uh, and then be ready to roll by the time people start rolling in there at around, uh, around 8, or probably a little bit after 8 on the first day people start rolling in, but... We'll sure as hell be ready to go. You see Leah in the background there. What's up, Leah? Say hi to the viewers at home. Anyway, we're going to grab ourselves some shut eye and we will catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning before we leave the, uh, the apartment and head over to the CrossFit Regionals day one. What's up guys, day two, checking in bright and early in the morning. It's just gone past seven in the a.m. and we are on our way to day one of the 2015 CrossFit Asia Pacific Regional Championship. Swole bait in and back, get some early morning work done. Lee's in the driver's seat once again. She did such a good job yesterday, we thought we'd keep her there. I got my work going on down here as well, man. Computer on deck. Just on our way to uh, to pick up a couple of things from Office Works, and then straight to the, uh, the Wynn Entertainment Center for the start of the regionals. We'll touch base with you guys when we get there. What's up guys? So we're here, day one of the CrossFit Regionals, man. Just making our way to the Massive Joe's booth at the, uh, in the exhibition part of the, uh, of the arena. So check it out, man. Walk with me down here. We've got the beats pumping, of course. Massive Joe's booth going off, man. No surprises there. So we uh, got our sample on, doing what we, uh, what we do best. So. I'm just walking you guys a little bit around here so you can get a bit of a feel for the exhibition area of, uh, of what happens here at the CrossFit Regionals. So check this out. You see in the background there, got a bunch of booths on this side, got a bunch of booths on the other side. So this is kind of like an indoor, uh, I guess, catering type, uh, <laughs> type area. Got some cameos going on, man. So get a bit of a feel. It kind of goes all the way down. It's probably about 50 meters worth of uh, worth of boot space. Um, everyone's kind of crammed in a little bit, but it's all good. We kind of make do as we can. So we're going to be here all day. Uh, this being the Friday, the first day. So we'll get Swole and Leah up in there. What's up, guys? So we're going to be here all day and we will uh, touch base with you guys probably towards the end of day one as we are uh, on our way to go train. What's up guys, day one of the Asia Pacific CrossFit Regionals all done. So we just here, it's about 6.30 in the PM, just left the Wynn Entertainment Center, about to get our swole on. It's Friday night, training at any time, fitness. Wollongong? Guys? I guess so, yeah. That'll I don't do. know what suburb it is. Anyway, yeah. it's the closest one to the entertainment center. I'm gonna say it's Anytime Fitness Wollongong. It's Friday night, we're about to hit some legs. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. What's up guys? Just got done training legs, man. It's raining like cats and dogs out here in Wollongong. How was that leg workout, Leah? Mm. I would go so far as to say we went ham on that leg workout. What'd you guys my, think? My ass hurts. And, I, <laughs> and I'm hungry, so we're back here at our favorite Wollongong dining facility. I'm about to get myself run over. The Outback Steakhouse. And I don't know what, uh, 
what Leah and Swall are feeling like, man. But I think that was a pretty, pretty intense leg workout. We had a pretty good day. I think we're going to treat ourselves to some ribs for dinner. That's what I'm feeling. I think we earned it. So we're going to get our uh, our post workout gains happening. You guys getting soaked in the background, and we will check in with you guys back at the hotel after dinner. What's up, guys? So just back at the hotel now, man. Had ourselves a delicious dinner at Outback Steakhouse. We're just checking back into the hotel. It's about 10:30 in the PM, and of course we got the Noju Bar sample creation station going off. Getting all those samples already for uh, for tomorrow at the CrossFit Regionals. We were pretty pretty popular today with the Noju Bar samples, man. So uh, the, uh, the the spectators and all the people attending kind of ate us out of samples. So we're back at it again, cutting them all up for in preparation for day two of the CrossFit Regionals. So we're going to keep going here, aren't we, Leah? Yeah. Aren't we, Swole? Get all these samples done, man. I think uh, all of us have got some emails and bits and pieces to get back to before we hit the site. So we'll probably hit the site about midnight tonight. Going to be out by about six again tomorrow. Uh, on the road by seven. Get back to the CrossFit Regionals for day two. And we will check back in with you guys at the start of, uh, of tomorrow morning. What's up, guys? Day three of the CrossFit Wollongong Regionals. The sun is out in Wollongong, man. Saturday morning. It's delicious. Look at that weather out there, guys. It's nice today. Hey, thunderstormy and shit. Lee's in the driver's seat, of course. Joel's got the mobile office going. I've got the mobile office going, man. Just after 7 in the a.m. on our way to the Wynn Entertainment Centre for day two. Day two of the exhibit as well. So we'll touch base back with you guys when we get to the Entertainment Centre. Going to shoot some, uh, some footage, if they let me, today of a little bit of the competition as well so you guys can get a feel for for uh, how the, the CrossFit regionals go down. And we will uh, touch base with you guys on the flip side. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're about halfway through day two of the CrossFit regionals down here in Wollongong. So I thought I'm gonna show you guys something pretty cool. So we're gonna actually go into the arena. So one of the, uh, the open men's Heats is on at the moment, so one of the, uh, I think it's the, the third event and the last heat of the Open Men, so one of the most popular events. So we're going to duck out of the expo hall for a second, duck into the arena and show you guys, uh, I guess, the size of the crowd and and uh, what a CrossFit event kind of looks like. So we're just going to let this roll for a little bit, stepping into the arena. So check this out. Coming to the end of one of the, the men's open heats. So check this out, just pan around. Show you guys the, uh, the size of the crowd here at the moment. So this is not the final view, this is just one of the heats. And you can see it's a bunch of people, a bunch of support for, uh, for this particular event. We'll just shoot on over here as well. Check out the arena. The big screen going off. Duck out over here as well. So now there's, uh, I think there's the last, the last heat of this event for the men's opens is about to start as well, and then they go through again. So the teams events will be on, the open women, the open men. So that runs all the way through to to tomorrow, to day three, which is the Sunday, which is the last day. And at that point, it's the uh, it's the final. So they decide who wins this particular regionals and then who goes and represents this region at the CrossFit Games in the US in a couple of months' time. So that gives you a bit of insight to, I guess, the, you know, the size of the crowd, the size of the arena, how the events uh, kind of run, full commentary, of course, full music up in the arena as well. So let's duck back in over here shoot back into the expo hall see how long this takes see how fast I can walk for you viewers at home see if we can get back to the massive Joe's booth real quick if I don't get stopped by people <laughs> caught in the rush so generally what happens as well 
is as this event obviously this event is run in a in a in a stadium so when the main events are on obviously people pop into the arena pop into the stadium and go watch the actual events and then in between events there's intermissions and whatnot and that's when people come and check out the uh, the booths so they'll come into the expo hall that we're walking into at the moment come check out the booths come support team max joe's booth of course so we're back over here you can get a bit of a feel for the size of the arena the size of the expo booth beats pumping of course leader in the background swell bait in the background no Jabars, MTS, poor nutrition is going off, creation going off. That's how we roll. And we'll check back in with you guys probably at the end of day two, uh, once again on our way to go get ourselves some games. What's up, guys? So I'm just here at the Master Joe's booth and I was having a discussion with uh, Team Master Joe's CrossFit specialist, Leah, and we were actually just talking about the uh, severe intensity of the event that we just witnessed inside the arena. I obviously am not following <laughs> the regionals too closely because I had no idea what they were doing. I just heard the crowd screaming, so I thought it must have been some pretty cool shit. But this event, just to break it down for the viewers at home, this is one of the most difficult CrossFit, CrossFit events we've seen thus far. Yeah, it's What does it involve? So it's a one mile run. Show them. Show the viewers. Try and get some zoom and focus action on that bitch. There we go. So what is that? So it's a one mile run. Yeah. 50 overhead squats at 60 kilos for the men. 100 GHD sit-ups, which are basically a, a sit-up. <laughs> a horrible yeah. hyper extension guys, slash sit-up. You guys Google that one. Uh, 150 double unders. So it's a, it's a, instead of doing a skipping single, the rope has to pass under your feet twice. Yeah. To count as one in one jump. That's why it's called double unders. Yeah. Not under unders. Uh, 50 sumo deadlift high pulls, which is basically a sumo deadlift with a high pull. With an uh, upright row. Yeah, with an upright yeah. row. Basically, that's what that is. Yeah. And then just to finish it off, 100 box jump overs. So, as the name implies, a box jump over the box, jump back on it, back, get on the other side. And how long, what's the time limit? How long do they have to complete this? The time cap's 26 minutes. And, and how like, many people have been completely? Like one, or, one or two athletes <laughs> per heat. It's brutal. It's pretty crazy stuff. So we've actually, yeah. we've got a TV screen over here behind uh, the massive Joe's booth that's showing us the event. So, well, I was just watching the event and I thought to myself, I better actually inquire as to what this event's about. Because it looks like people are dying on the arena. Yeah, actually, I just fall into the the floor, like, like, like but there you go. So a little bit of an insight to one of the uh, the toughest events that we see this weekend at the CrossFit Regional. So hope you guys enjoy that, and we will catch you on the flip side. What's going on, guys? We're here at the last event of day two at the CrossFit Regional. It's the last top ten men, top ten men in the men's yes, open, and it's a uh, it's a one rep max snatch. So you guys can check out in the background there what's going on. A big screen, maybe. One rep max snatch in the heat beforehand. I think the top lift was. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty cool, I'm going to say. A lot of people in here, man. It's pretty much a packed house for this last event. I think in the last heat, the uh, the record lift was just over 120 kilos for a snatch. So, pretty impressive stuff. And I, I also have to mention. They're doing a one rep max snatch after handstand walking like 100 meters or something. I don't know, it's ridiculous. It's impressive either way. So we're going to wrap up here. This is uh, almost a lockdown for day two. We're going to head back into the exhibition area, help uh, Leah and Swole pack up, and then we're going to head to the gym. We're going to train some shoulders tonight, and that is where we will see you guys next. What's up guys, we're here at Anytime Fitness, Yoon and Dara just about to crush some shoulders man, it's just gone just after 7 in the PM, we're actually training with some friends of ours in the Illawarra, the whole crew from a place called Team Flex in the house, I introduce you guys, what's going on fellas, hey, buddy. say hi to the viewers at home, introduce yourself, hey I'm Chris, Chris, going? what's up brothers, we got Aaron, of course we got Leah as well. We got my main man Reese, and behind Reese is where are we at? Lisa. Lisa, <laughs> and where's Swall? I don't know where Swall's at, man. Probably doing his hair or something. Getting ready. Anyway, we're gonna crush some shoulders. There's a lot of us, as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 
So we're going to uh, we're going to get pretty much a common train with Team Massive Joe's going on. So we'll probably train for um, probably close to two hours with this many people, and then we're going to go and hit ourselves some post workout gains, and we will see you guys with those post workout gains. What's up, guys? Dinner is served back here at Outback Jacks. I told you it's the only place we eat in Wollongong. Here with our family from Team Flex. Enjoying dinner, guys. Leah's here as well, of course. And it's Saturday night, so Saturday night, it's gonna be cheat night, we're in Wollongong at Outback Steakhouse. That's couldn't, much better than this. Couldn't go past the ribs, so I think every, pretty much everyone's got ribs. Ribs or burgers, right? Ribs, burgers, yeah. and steak. Lisa's got a burger down here. Just to make sure the burgers don't feel left out. <laughs> Leah's got a full rack of ribs down here as well. So we're gonna get stuck into it, man. These ribs smell so good, and they're looking at me directly in the face. So I'm gonna get stuck into that. We'll probably check in with you guys, either back at the hotel, or if we decide to go for deep in this cheap meal, might even be dessert. What's up, guys? Just here back at the hotel in Wollongong, man. Getting our dessert on. Are we swole? It's Saturday night cheap meal up in this bitch. Ben and Jerry's? Cornerstone of every nutritious breakfast. <laughs> what flavour you got there, man? I got uh, choc chip cookie dough. Choc chip cookie dough. I'm about to uh, get myself some of this here brand new tub of Ben and Jerry's cluster fluff flavour. I never tried this one before. Neither have I, man. I'm hoping I'm that it's delicious. I'm hoping it's as good as Chubby Hubby. That's my usual go to. Next. Anyway, so we're just going to get some dessert in man Saturday night. It's cheat night. We're enjoying ourselves a little bit. It's uh, just before midnight, so dinner ran uh, quite late, as it always does when we're with uh, business associates of ours. We end up talking a little bit too much, of course. So dinner ran a little bit uh, quite well, quite late. So just before midnight now, Leah's in the other room. Leah, you going to get Ben and Jerry's as well? No. Yeah, she's about to smash some Ben and Jerry's. What flavour? Fish food. There you go. Who eats fish food? <laughs> I don't Seriously, know. Who does that? <laughs> so we're going to smash down our uh, our Ben and Jerry's for dessert and uh, cut up some more Noji bars, of course, for tomorrow, day three of the CrossFit Regionals, and then hit the sack. We're going to be up early once again tomorrow morning, up around 6, 6.30 in the morning, get down to the Regionals, be ready to roll by 8 o'clock in the a.m. So uh, we're going to enjoy ourselves tonight. Let's kick back a little bit. Have some ice cream a little bit. Oh yeah. And we will catch you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. What's up guys? Back up and at it for day three at the CrossFit Regionals, the third and final day. It's Sunday morning, just after seven in the AM. Back on the road again. Swole in the background. Leah in the driver's seat. We're on our way back to the Win Entertainment Centre, man. Gonna roll out this day three at the Massive Joe's booth in the Exhibitor Hall at the Wynn Entertainment Center for the CrossFit Regionals. We will check in with you guys when we get there. What's up guys, back here at the CrossFit Regionals, the final day, day three. Thought I'd shoot just a quick, some, some quick footage of, uh, of a little bit of downtime. So I'm just chilling down here, just down on the floor in the corner of the Exhibition Hall. <laughs> because we've got a tiny booth, so we don't have uh, any, any chill out room or anything built onto our booth. There's the Massive Joe's booth over there, so you guys can check that out. Of course, where the beats are coming from. Where is it? Now get on frame. There you go. Check. So I'm just uh, just grabbing a quick break, get my meals in. Thought I'd show you guys that. Just so you know, just so you know, I'm keeping it 100. Even when we're traveling, got my Nutri to go happening. Got some uh, got some uh, some chicken and beans on deck. Just lost my fork. My brother's at Nutri to go. Obviously hooking me up there. Roast chicken and some beans up in there. Got my. Uh, Got some core ABC on deck as well. Just getting that in. Just, uh, just gonna smash this meal real quick, and then get, uh, get back to the booth and, and keep powering through. So we're, uh, we're it's about 11 a.m. at the moment. So this uh, final day wraps up. Uh, last year it wrapped up around six. So we're gonna wrap up around six as well. So we're just gonna keep, uh, keep pumping, keep, uh, keep pushing through the end of today, and we'll check in with you guys uh, at some point during the day again today. Okay guys, so we're at the end of day three of the CrossFit Regionals, just with Swole about to pop into the stadium, watch the last event of the men's open division. Check it out, you guys get a feel for the, uh, the atmosphere here for the men's last event. Check it, let's let it roll for a little bit. Athletes, stand by. Five squat cleans, 
event at the uh, the CrossFit regionals the men open and the, the top 10 men and decide who's going to the, the the games the CrossFit games in the US so that's pretty much it for the competition side of the regionals we got a little bit left here with uh, with people coming back through the booth and then we're gonna lock down the booth pack down the booth we're gonna try and set the record get it done in about half hour 45 minutes we'll check in with you guys when the booth is all packed up and we're on our way out of here what's up guys so we're done we're out, finished. Leah. Done. How long did that take us to pack up? Uh, it was, we had a few logistical issues. We did, check um, out the back of the car. <laughs> We've lost Joel. <laughs> <laughs> We've had to sacrifice Joel. Joel <laughs> had to be sacrificed because we don't have enough room for everything. So we got, to, uh, it's, it's just gone 20 to seven. So we started packing up uh, at about 5.30, would you say? So we didn't quite set a record, but it was pretty close to record time. So it took us, uh, took us just over an hour to, to pack up. We did have some logistical issues. Everybody wanted to use the service lift, but, uh, but we got there in the end, everything's packed up in the car. So we're gonna go take all this stuff um, back to the hotel, um, get it all packed up and ready to get picked up by a courier tomorrow to send back to MJHQ in South Australia. Then we're gonna go train. You're gonna go train. We're gonna go, we, we have to go and pick Joel up again because we sacrificed him. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go train, we're gonna eat and we will uh, check in with you guys soon. What's up guys? We're here at Anytime Fitness. Warra Wong, I've just been told by my brother <laughs> Reese from Team Flex, man. Taking us to all of the creatively named Anytime Fitnesses in the Wollongong area. We found Swalbait. Swalbait is back and we had to substitute Leah for Swal. So now we've lost Leah, but we've got Swole. So uh, we're gonna hit ourselves some back, man, a quick back workout, Sunday night. It's uh, 
almost eight in the PM, so I was getting quite late, and uh, we still got to get ourselves some post-workout games. We need ribs, man. We need ribs. <laughs> we had ribs last night. I need ribs again. <laughs> I'm addicted. So we're going to train for probably under an hour, man, to get a real, real short, intense session in, and we'll check back in with you guys uh, post-workout. What's up, guys? Workout is done. Back here at our favorite dining facility in Wollongong. Of course, it's got to be Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> here with Reese from Team Flex. Liz, back. We found you again. And swallow the course, man. So we're gonna head ourselves some post-workout gains. Check back in with you guys for the final night back at uh, back at the hotel. What's up, guys? Day five of the vlog, the last day of this vlog. It's Monday morning. We're packed. We're locked. We're loaded. We're on our way back to Sydney Airport, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna drop the car off, grab our luggage, hop on the plane. Uh, flying from Sydney to Adelaide. Before we do that, we've got to drive back to Sydney. So Wollongong is uh, about an hour and a half drive. So we get to see some pretty cool countryside in the meantime. So we drive back to the airport, hop on the plane, and we'll uh, touch base with you guys when we touch down in Adelaide. What's going on, guys? Just touched down back in Adelaide after our flight from Sydney. We're back, baby. We're back up in this bitch. So that's it. There's the final installment for this uh, this vlog, this five day vlog of the CrossFit Regionals out in Wollongong. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching. Hope you got some insights into, I know obviously we appeal to, to a lot of the bodybuilding community, a lot of the fitness community that may not have exposure to CrossFit. So I hope that it gave uh, you guys some insights into, into CrossFit, the, the, the CrossFit community as well, didn't it? Because we support all kinds of sport. We don't give a f to be completely honest. If you're getting fit and healthy, we're going to support that shit. Ain't that the truth? So as always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of everything going on in our YouTube channel. In particular, these new vlogs have been popping every month or so, man. Quite new for us, quite unique. And we're coming to you from MassiveJoes.com.